Meanwhile, tensions are spilling over from Gaza to the Red Sea as fears of a maritime war continue to mount. The Red Sea has become the new battleground, with the Yemen Houthi rebels attacking cargo vessels that are en route Israel through the southern Red Sea. In the latest, according to British Maritime Security Agency, explosions were reported near a cargo ship in the strategic Bab al Mandeb Strait. Up to three explosions were reported one to five nautical miles from the merchant vessel. The vessel was traveling between the coasts of Eritrea and Yemen. Seeing the situation unfolding in the Red Sea, the UN Security Council may meet as early as Wednesday on the situation in the Red Sea. This is according to the French ambassador to the United Nations, whose country has assumed the council presidency. Meanwhile, an aide to the leader of Yemen's Houthi movement has said that the U.S. will not escape punishment and retaliation after sinking three Houthi boats and killing 10 militants in the Red Sea. The situation has reached a point where Americans have resorted to militarizing the Red Sea and their reckless actions are affecting the international navigation serving the interests of the Israeli enemy. America is the navigator of wars, problems and chaos and it disturbs security on land and sea. They have committed a major crime by targeting our armed naval forces who were carrying out their official and routine duties in the Red Sea for the sake of navigation security. For more on this story, our correspondent Susan Tehrani spoke with the French ambassador to the United Nations, whose country assumed the council presidency. Listen in. Uh, regarding the Red Sea and what's happening there, the navies of the United States, Britain and France have each shot down Houthi-launched drones and missiles. The United States now believes that there should be another international coalition dealing with what's happening in the Red Sea and the Houthis separate to what's happening in Gaza. I wanted to know your views on that. Thank you. Well, uh, again, I speak in my uh, national capital. As a chair, I would say that uh, uh, it's very likely that the Council will meet on the issue soon, or probably uh, even tomorrow. So uh, we will confirm this, but I think the situation is bad. Uh, there is a repetition of uh, violations and uh, uh, military actions in, in this area. And of course, we cannot uh, leave it like that. We need to, we need to, uh, to, to take action. Uh, in my national capacity, uh, I would just tell you that France, along with 42 partners, Partners jointly condemned on December 20 the attacks committed by Houthis and the threats to the freedom of navigation. We uh, believe uh, nationally that uh, we need to secure the shipping uh, in the Red Sea. It's crucial for everything, shipping of food, of fuel, humanitarian aid and other essential goods. It's a very important uh, route, uh, of course. Uh, we cannot give up and accept the blackmail uh, which is there. So. Maritime safety is uh, extremely important and it needs to be protected by all means and uh, we will continue to, to work on that with our partners. I think we, we, it's a shared concern. It's a different issue from Gaza, but uh, again it's an additional threat posed to the stability of this region. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.